get there right quick. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and uh, 14 and 1. It says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy upon Jacob. Right? He's going to have mercy on Jacob. Right? That's who the promise went to. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed when he wrestled with the angel to what? Israel. Yasha Allah. Yah meaning he, Shah meaning uh, prince, Allah meaning other power, man. You know? It says, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. He said he's going to yet choose Israel. He didn't say he was going to choose all nations. He did not put everybody in there. That was point blank and plain. He said he would yet choose Israel, man. And set them in their own land. Are we in our own land right now? No. We are in America, man, under captivity of, of these uh, Romans, man. These Roman Edomites, man, still. Descendants from the Romans, man. Still in captivity, man. It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Who are those strangers that's talking about? That's not talking about everybody coming together and going to be one. If everybody come together to be one, that's the New World Order. New World Order is against, the, the, the scriptures is against New World Order. Why you think he destroyed that Tower of Babel that Nimrod was trying to build? Because everybody was trying to be one. Right? So those strangers that he's talking about right there are the Israelite foreigners, man. These Israelites who have grew up in these other lands, they don't even know they're Israelites, man. When that day come, when the Lord set us back in our land, in uh, Jerusalem, Israel, them Israelites who are living in certain lands like Japan and China, the Polynesian Islands, Australia, living in Hawaii, living in certain parts of Africa, and Europe, and Russia, down in the uh, in, uh, Arab Emirates, the Israelites who are living in those particular uh, places, the spirit is going to resonate with them Israelites. Damn, I'm an Israelite too. When we come back in our land and what's going to happen, they're going to be coming up just like they did in the book of Acts, the second chapter. They're going to be coming back to the homeland to celebrate the high holy days and basically come visit the temple and visit their people, man. It says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Right? And the people shall take them and bring them there to their place. So the people are going to take them and bring them to their place. Meaning these other nations are basically going to... Uh, help build up it, uh, our land again. When you read Isaiah 60 chapter, it tells you how they're going to be bringing certain riches to our gates, man. Our gates are going to be uh, open continually. You know? Matter of fact, I get that. Isaiah 60. I think it's in 60. It's not the, y'all got to bear with me because I have to find it. Isaiah 60 and 10 and it says and the sons the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their king shall minister unto thee now those strangers right there those are the heathen man those particular strangers they're going to build up our walls man they're going to be building our kingdom back right and it says and their king shall minister unto thee for in my wrath I spoke thee but in my favor, I have had mercy on thee. So in his wrath, the Lord actually, uh, he whipped us, man. Right? He whipped us real good, man. He took us down, man. He brought us low. He brought this base man over us, man. But he said, in my mercy, he said, but in my favor, I have had mercy on thee. Because of the Lord's favor, Israel. I gave the law, statutes, and commandments to you, man. So in his favor, he had mercy on us. Forgiveness, man. You know? To the nation of Israel. It says, therefore,
Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. The wealth, man, of those Gentiles, these other nations. Those Gentiles there are the other nations. The wealth of all these other nations, they're going to bring unto us, man. Wherever the wealth is in Elam, wherever the wealth is in uh, uh, Moab, Ammon, wherever the wealth is in uh, 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 Ishmael, wherever the wealth is in Edom, they're going to bring it continually back to Jerusalem, man, back to the Israelites. See how the gates will be open continually for them to bring it back, man, plus serve us, man. It says, therefore, Isaiah 16, 11, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, and the men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Led into what? Possession, man. Your kings, your kings and your nations, we're gonna take them into possession. Right? We're gonna take them in possession first, man. Once we knock your kings down, then it's gonna be over. We're gonna take them into possession, man. Let me read that in uh, Psalms. Uh, Psalms. Chains, 
See, to bind their kings with chains. And their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor of all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. So as let you know that what we just read in Isaiah 60, that we really going to take their kings, their little literal kings with chains, we're going to bind them up. We're going to be starting with uh, Rothschild, we're going to be starting with you Rothschild, you Rockefellers, you DuPonts, and you get it, you elite uh, banking families. We're going to start with you all, man. We're going we're gonna, to uh, 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 bind you up. Feathers of iron, man. You know what a feather of iron is. You know, we're going to bind them up, man. The scriptures say that. It's going to be a literal binding up of they, their people, right? It says, uh, I'm going to go back. It says, Psalm 68 and 11. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that their kings may be brought. So their kings going to be brought in chains. When the Lord destroys this place and set us up, they're going to bring all the riches from the earth are going to come back to Jerusalem, back to the original people. That's the scriptures. Man. But who's reading the scriptures? Right? It says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee, shall perish. So when we when we when we take this thing over, if it be a nation out there and say, hey, we not we don't want to serve y'all, Israelites. Guess what? Guess what it said? It said the nation that shall not serve thee shall perish. What's perish? We're gonna kill you. That's one plan. There ain't gonna be no plan when we take over. Because it ain't no plan now when the, uh, the man who's in charge now, he didn't got to the point where he'll just walk up to a brother, shoot him and get a damn day off for a week off. You see? So when we take over, it's gonna be, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna execute everything to the fullness of the scriptures, man. In righteousness, man. Whether y'all like it or not. You know? And that's what it's gonna be. You know? <laughs> y'all Israelites, man, remember that. Yeah, I know. That's powerful. That's powerful, there. It says, uh, for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. I mean, you're going to be utterly ruined. You know? But you can bet it's going to be a lot of you nations. The scripture also tell you, y'all going to be happy when we take over. When this rule be in righteousness, man, y'all going to have y'all own little land back. We're not going to do like Esau coming there and want your natural resources if there's any there. Because guess what? The scripture just said that you're going to be bringing the riches to us. So if you got resources, if you uh, if you, if you you dig into your land and you find like a pot of rubies, guess what you're going to do? Shit, I found some rubies. You're going to take bring some to the Israelites. You know? You know? Because our power put them rubies there, man. You gonna bring them rubies, some of them rubies to us, just so you get a blessing. That's just how it is, man. You know? Uh, I'm gonna go back. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. And uh, 